Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, home of the Husky community. Hope you're doing well today. Gila is in the most rotten mood today. She's like, bro, I'm so upset. You woke me up from my beauty nap and you were like, dude, let's record. Daddy-o, don't you know I need my beauty rest? If I don't get my beauty rest, I get cranky. And you don't even want to know what happens when Huskies get cranky. They get that mean little grin on their face. Kind of looks like this. Oh, I'm so mad. I am super mad Husky. I have bad attitude. Well, maybe Britney Spears will cheer you up today. Right, buddy? Ugh. Right. Happy Thursday. Tomorrow is TGIF. It's finally Friday, baby. And maybe tomorrow, Hila will actually look at you. Yeah, she's like, big yawns over here. I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be a stinker all day. How about this? How about this? I'll do you a deal. If you stop being a stinker, I'll go ahead. I'll throw you a treat right now. You get the super duper treat and you get it early on. How about that? Is it a deal? She's like, let me think about it. Let me just, let me think about it. Food. Okay, let's see, food, but I gotta be nice. <sighs> All right, she's like, but I'm laying down though. Dude, you missed it. Now you gotta get the other treat and you missed that treat, dude. What is this? Oh man, so we just got this really cool piece of furniture in the house and this is what it is right here. It's kind of just like this little bookshelf where we keep new books, but what's really cool about it is you can see inside of it. So it's got a door that has glass, so you're able to just see what kind of books you want to read before you pick one out. And then because I'm cheesy, I got these two little statues of birds just being like, Hello, Mama. How are you today? I am not your mama. I am the father bird. Oh, Papa, I am so sorry. I thought you was Mama. I could not tell. Anyways, it's looking good over here in the corner. I'm really happy with it. And the coolest part is I got it from Hobby Lobby for half off. So it was just a hundred bucks, 99, 95. Furniture is way overpriced in my opinion. So to find some good furniture at a low price, oh man, I was skipping all the way home. And anytime you bring new furniture home, your dogs are gonna be like, I have to investigate that thing for four and a half hours. So last night, Gila laid by that thing for forever and was like, uh, I gotta make sure it doesn't get up and walk away. I gotta make sure it's not like a secret Trojan horse of underpants gnomes that are gonna sneak in and steal all the underwear. Dude, what are you even, what are you even talking about? Take a treat -oh. Britney Spears is like, Dad, what are we talking about today? Can you get into the episodical? Okay, okay, but first I gotta show him one more thing because you guys got something too. So if you didn't know before, this was the dog's toy basket that we used. And look, it's so small. So we went ahead and we bought him this giganto toy bin so that they can have all of their toys in here and they can all fit. Now you can see how much bigger it is than their old one. And I made sure that it wasn't too tall. So they're able to just go up here and be like, ooh, what's in here? What's What's going on? Oh my goodness, it's Piggy Land. So I got something cool. The dogs got a brand new basket for their toys. Everybody's happy, right? Exactly. We're ready for the weekend, my friends. How about you guys? Are you ready for the weekend? If you are, leave it in the comments down below. All right, guys, I'm ready to get into the conversation. You ready to get into it? All right, well then let's talk about it. Today we're gonna be discussing buying and rescuing a Siberian Husky. There are two different ways to get one of these floof heads. You can either buy one from a breeder or you can rescue and adopt one from a shelter or an animal rescue. But which one should you do? There's a huge discussion online like, oh, it's much better to rescue or oh, no way, dude, it's my prerogative. I can buy one if I want from a breeder. Overall, what is the right choice? What is the moral decision to do? And what is the choice for you? Today, we're gonna be talking about that in this episode. He was like, am I adopted, bro? Daddy-o. Am I adopted? No, dude, you're not adopted, but we are going to be talking about the differences that you can expect if you do adopt one and all of that good golly goodness. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we talk about how and where you can buy or rescue and adopt Siberian Huskies. Are you guys ready? All right, well then let's do this. All right, so let's jump right into it. Let's not waste any time today. One of the biggest questions and one of the most asked questions I get when doing this YouTube channel is, hey, where do I get myself a Siberian Husky? We're thinking about getting one as a family. I'd really like to think about getting one in the future. Where do I go and get myself one of these? And it's not a weird question. These are living animals. So it's not like there's just this market out there where you can go and buy whatever animal you want. Now, granted, occasionally in some states, there are pet stores that do 
sell Siberian Huskies as puppies. Mostly it seems the only places that advertise for Siberian Huskies are like we said, pet stores or animal shelters that will be advertising, hey, come and adopt this Siberian Husky. But other than that, it's like, dude, where do I get myself one of these little fluffy puppersons? So let's go ahead and discuss that. Let's discuss buying a Husky, then we'll discuss adopting and rescuing a Siberian Husky, and eventually we'll get into the ethics of it all. So getting yourself a Siberian Husky puppy is not an easy task. It's almost harder or more difficult to get yourself a Siberian Husky puppy than it is to go out and rescue one. Mostly rescues that offer Siberian Huskies up for adoption already have all the paperwork, all of the history, up-to-date shots, and everything you need to know when it comes to your Husky and for the most part, since they are a brick and mortar establishment, typically they do have the credentials to be a place that you can trust when you're picking out a dog. But getting a Siberian Husky puppy is different because you have to find someone that is currently breeding. This means you have to find someone who's got a mama and a papa doggo. And people who breed Siberian Huskies, they're not always professionals and some breeders aren't always the most trustworthy of people. So let's talk about how you can find a reputable breeder and where you should be looking. To start, if you're gonna decide to get yourself a Siberian Husky and not adopt, this is gonna take so much of your time and your research. You're gonna have to look around and find breeders that are ethical and professional. You don't want to be contributing money towards people who are harming or abusing doggos. So you really have to be smart about which breeders you end up choosing. Now, what I did whenever I decided to get my Huskies, I purchased them from a breeder, one that I knew, one that I had done research on, and I got them at a healthy age, eight weeks or older. You should never separate a Siberian Husky or any dog from their litter or their mother earlier than eight weeks. And the later, the better, in my opinion. Opinion. One place to find reputable breeders is Google and Facebook. If you do a quick search of reputable breeders of the dog breed in your area, you may find breeders that already have websites near you. Facebook is also another really great place to look because a lot of breeders use Facebook and other social media outlets to advertise when they're breeding their Siberian Huskies. So like we said, if you are gonna get a doggo from a breeder and you're not going to adopt, you have to do your due diligence. You really have to be smart. You can't just go get a random doggo from a stranger off a of Craigslist. That's probably the worst case scenario. Make sure you're doing your homework and you're studying. Meet up with the breeders. Go and visit the location where the Huskies are being bred. Good breeders will typically let you come and visit the location where the breeding is occurring. So if it's just a home, if the breeders just breed from home, they'll typically let you inside, see the living conditions of the Huskies before you even decide or give up any sort of payment for your Husky. Now I just want to say this, Huskies range in price dramatically. You can find Husky ranging anywhere from $600 to over $2,000. So if you are buying from a breeder, be prepared to spend a lot of money. But if the breeder is reputable and they've done everything they need to do, including provide you with up-to-date vet records of your puppy, when you get them, the money is going to be well worth it. Now, there are a few benefits from getting a Siberian Husky as a puppy. Obviously, you're gonna be able to train them at a very early age, which means you're gonna be able to condition them to be used to your life style and the things that you want them to be used to. A lot of dog training is just conditioning your dog over time. This is why we repeat things and stick to a schedule. Repetition is going to be your best friend whenever you're teaching your Siberian Husky how to do things. Now let's jump right into adoption and rescuing Huskies. Now neither of my Huskies are adopted or rescued, but I have plenty of friends, a lot of them in the YouTube community, who do have rescued doggos and rescued Siberian Huskies. Now rescuing Siberian Huskies is one of the most noble things things that you can do in your entire life. Heck, rescuing any doggo is the most noble thing that you can do, and this includes adopting. There are so many dogs out there that need rescuing, so many dogs that are given up, especially Siberian Huskies, on a regular basis. They're abandoned regularly because people just feel like they can't take care of them, so they ultimately give them up. This is why there is such a high number of Siberian Huskies and doggos in adoption shelters. So whenever you feel like you are open to adopting a Siberian Husky, it's probably the best thing that you can do in your entire life. Now, if you want to buy one, I don't think there should be any shame in that, but you should always, always just at least consider adoption before you go ahead and buy yourself a Siberian Husky. And if you do the research and you do decide that you want to buy one, you wanna find a reputable breeder, then that's completely fine. But rescuing a Siberian Husky is one of the best things you can do, man. Not only will you be getting a best friend, but you'll be saving a life in the process. 
This is why so many people are so adamant about adopting and rescuing. Now, when it comes to adoption and rescuing Siberian Huskies, luckily, there are tons of shelters and rescues out there that you can just go to Google and look up online. You can contact them and let you know, hey, I'm looking for a Siberian Husky to rescue. We think it's a perfect fit for our family. Now, it can be a little bit harder to adopt or rescue a dog because sometimes, especially if it's a reputable place, they'll want to research your family, where you live, Make sure you're a good fit for the dog that you want to rescue. And if you're not, if they decide you aren't fit, sometimes you don't get to have that dog. And that can be a little bit frustrating. So just remember, if you plan on adopting and you think that's the route you want to go in, you also got to do your research as well. There are tons of resources and options for you if you decide that adoption and rescuing is the way that you want to go. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to condition your rescue husky in exactly the same manner that you would a husky puppy. But that doesn't matter because it doesn't matter how old or where your husky or your dog come from, it's always possible to train them, no matter what their age. So don't give up. If you want to train your husky to do something and they're just a little bit older or you think they're a rescue dog and they've had a life before you and you don't know what they've gone through, don't sweat it, broski. You can teach your pup to do whatever you want. So overall, we completely support and encourage everyone to rescue dogs and Siberian huskies. It's the best way to get yourself a pet. But if you want to go ahead and find yourself a reputable breeder, look online, do your due diligence, check out Husky forums, see where people got their breeders, ask questions, reach out to others who have Siberian Huskies. They're probably going to let you know, hey, this is where we found ours and maybe they can steer you in the right direction. Look at these guys. They've been lazy this whole episode. You guys have been so lazy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Enough. <laughs> Whoa, dude. You okay, bro? You okay? Your brother almost fell, dude. Do you see that? I know, he almost fell. If you guys had fun on today's episode, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more Huskaroni Pizza episodes and you stay up to date with all the goodness. We're gonna be kicking it, but we'll be seeing you tomorrow with another episode of Guess What? That's right, whatever we make. Peace!